We have an interesting question from Andrew. Andrew, uh, unfortunately, I am confined for a long time, being to what I have at home and cannot squat, deadlift, bench press, or, or overhead press. Now, that's true for a lot of people right now. I can do weighted dips and chins and decided to focus on those movements until the quarantine is over. I have a pair of 45-pound dumbbells and a 60-pound kettlebell as well. I would like to be able to train every day if possible, but I'm not sure how to go about intelligently programming this. I was thinking of using your Russian fighter pull-up program for both dips and chins and adding weight after each 12-day cycle. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good idea. Hopefully, it would not be too much to add daily swings into the mix also, but I'm not sure how to program them intelligently. Um, for those who don't know, uh, the fighter program is, is a traditional uh, Russian kettlebell certification program to where you, uh, let's say, you can only do uh, five pull-ups and you would start off day one with one, 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 one pull-ups. Day two, you go two, one, 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 one. Day three, if you can, you go three, two, one, one, one. And you just build it up basically to, if you can, five, 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 five. And the assumption at that point is, is that your, obviously, your your pull-up best is no longer five. And there's a hundred variations on it. Uh, I do think about every, oh, I, I on the pull-up, I would suggest resting, um, if, if you're over, say, 30, you could probably go day one, day two, rest, day three, day four, rest, day five, day six, rest. Because the pull-up can be such a pain on the elbows. We call it MAPS, middle-age pull-up syndrome. Um, well, <laughs> there, there's your template right there. Uh, one, two, off, one, two, off. Uh, with both the dips and the and the chin-up pull-ups, uh, I think you have there. Uh, this will be a pretty good little program. You're, you've covered the upper body there, and if you go for a nice saunter on your days off, a nice little walk, a, a nice little traps, a, a little walk, take your dog, go to a park, whatever you need to do, and uh, that would be your rest day, and then uh, mix in mix in swings. What I've been suggesting to people during the quarantine, and, and actually I'm starting to think it's a very good idea, is do swings between each set. So. If you're doing five sets of the pull or the chin up and you're doing five sets of the dip, that'll give you many opportunities to stick some uh, swings in there also. Uh, with that 60 pound bell, uh, I don't have much information, Andrew, about you, but if you can swing well a 60, you know, you're probably going to be in that 15 range, uh, reps 15. Um, I would do a couple of days with just maybe 10 at first, just to get used to the Chin up, swing for 10, chin up, swing for 10, chin up, swing for 10. Just to kind of acclimate to it, slide up to 15 and see if those 15 reps impact the chins or dips. And then from there, if you can, 20 or 25. But, you know, if you just do 15 like that, that's going to get you 150 swings, which is, a, which is plenty. I used to think that you could do 250 swings ad nauseum, uh, you know, basically forever. And then, in my experience, it just, that works really well, and then it just drops off. You just, I, I never want to swing again the rest of my life. You could do as high as 25, 250. 15 will get you 150. Tens or even less would be a great number also. Yeah, so this is a good idea. Um, this is kind of your one-stop shop, you know, a dip, chin, swing. That's pretty good, but be sure, and I, and I mean this from the heart, you, you need some kind of walk, I think. Um, you know, Stu McGill, the great Canadian the spine specialist, you know, he's such a big believer in just going for a walk for spinal health. And that's one thing I've noticed is that uh, during my time during the quarantine is that I do spend a lot more time sitting than I normally do. And when I walk, it takes me a few minutes, and it sounds weird, but to kind of grease my hips back up so that I'm kind of, you know, kind of walking like, like a Disney movie, you know, when they walk down the streets like this, going into downtown Disneyland. Uh, that's maybe an image you didn't need to have. Great program. Love to find out how it goes. Thank you, Andrew.